ever wonder if your kid is the next? Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, Albert Einstein. Well, one of these 13 kids might just be a megastar tomorrow. Hit it! And if you think it can't get any louder than this, wait till you see what happens when this tiny supergroup gets ambushed by their idol, teen sensation, Selena Gomez. And a show we're calling Is Your Kid the Next? Who's the next Beyonce? Taylor Swift, Michael Jordan, the rock stars, and the athlete stars of tomorrow. This DJ playing behind me, he's helping us open our show. Take a look at his story. I'm DJ Baby Chino, and I'm the world's youngest DJ. My son just turned eight. He's been DJing since he was five years old. He's an entertainer, from, uh, we, we think, from birth. He started out when he was three. Uh, he uh, modeled and acted. He break danced when he was four. And then at five, like, he came up to me and my wife and said he wanted to DJ. So we had to find out all the aspects of DJing, you know, convince the DJ to show him how to spin. And then it just went from there. His talent take, took over. Hit it! So we're just going to practice the first one. What I like most about DJing is uh, the music and letting people dance. Every day, Father Rody. I'm too young to get in the clubs, but I'm an entertainer, so I can get in the clubs. His calendar does get busy, and he'll probably do like eight events, probably during the school year, a month. This summer, he probably did about 65 to 75 shows. When you see him do a show, if you watch him, you forget that he is an eight-year-old kid. He's a professional, and he's respected by many DJs. I met a lot of celebrities like Mike Tyson, Vanilla Ice, and Rob Ace and DJ Easy Rock. Baby Chino is sponsored and has some great relationship with vendors. And it just happened overnight. You know, we've worked that for like two years. When I get a box of stuff, I like to dig in it, see what's in it. <laughs> it's like Christmas every day. I think if, if I wasn't a DJ, I'd just be a regular kid. I would be happy, but I'd be more happy if I was a DJ. This is DJ Baby Chino. <laughs> A.K.A. Ryan. He really is eight years old. His dad is also joining us. He's in the front row. His name is Patrick. So, let me start with you, young man. I mean, Ryan, this is a fantastic skill to have at such an early age. You find the music that you want to spin and stuff? What do you yeah. do? You look for it on I, the internet or something? I, um, I download music from a couple of sites. Cool. And then, um, I, I really like hip-hop. I like the style of it. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing today, like old-school hip-hop. Old-school hip-hop. Yeah, old-school hip-hop. Old-school hip-hop. <laughs> So back before you were even born? Yeah, before 2002. Before 2002. Now, Patrick, you know what's so beautiful about your story is that you said, you know, and I want his family to be here to, to, to support him. Mm -hmm. But was that a choice for you, or you were just always, this is what he's into, I'm going to support it? Did you really have to think about it twice? Because DJing is a late night and a, kind of an adult sport, usually. Yeah, you know? well, the uh, thing about him DJing is he started out, like he said, breakdancing. He was modeling and acting. Um, but the DJ aspect, that's his talent. We, just, we see so much talent in him. And as long as he wants to do it, we're going to support him. That's fantastic. Understand. I just love it. All right, so you ready to hear him perform? Yeah, bring it, DJ Baby Chino. <laughs> Bargain.
Morgan, because one day he'll have his own Lollapalooza, and we'll all be paying hundreds to see him. Our next group of talented kids hails all the way from Lubbock, Texas, and these little ladies have some of the biggest voices you have ever heard. Are these guys the next, like, Destiny's Child? Could be. Check them out.